What up, YouTube? Hey, YouTube. I know, God, dang. I know y'all get tired of seeing my wife on here. Y'all be like, I thought this was your channel, but your wife always in your channel. But no, I think for this part. <laughs> Damn, now sick of me already? Yeah, they, they like, y'all. They like, your wife always in your channel. In half a mile. It's like, no. <laughs> Come back, baby. You're welcome today. No, to today? Just today. Just today. Just for right now, you got to pass. Okay. So, today is... Shot day. <laughs> we didn't plan that, y'all. We didn't. It was just both corny. Um, I'm so not corny. I'm, I'm a corny. G. You a G? A lowercase G? A uppercase G. You too short to be an uppercase. Stop G. it. <laughs> so today is shot day. Turn um, right to I twenty one. We are on our way to run a couple of errands before this appointment. Um, I may have to redo my errands to be for real. Um, but. Today is shot day, and we about to go do this shot, go to the doctors, um, yeah. So, as far as me, I'm a little nervous, not even necessarily to start testosterone, but I have a super fear of needles, and it's not the needles themselves, because I can stick the heck out of anybody else, but I cannot stick myself, um, well, I don't like to stick myself, and I don't like to be stuck, but this is just something that I'm going to have to deal with. Um, I overcame my kind of fear a little bit by watching a bunch of different... Um, Continue videos, straight for... ...on tea shots, um, talking to a lot of people who have already started testosterone um, and doing their shots. Um, I think for me, um, as far as my preference, um, I think that I want to go intermuscular, um, just because that's what a lot of people that I, you know, actually know in real life and have talked to, that's what they went with. Um, you know, most of you already know there's, and for those of you who don't, there's jail, there's all types of other stuff, but for me, the jail isn't going to work, one, because I don't necessarily keep my shoulders covered and, you know, you run the risk of it rubbing off on somebody else. And my wife has a tendency to lay on my shoulders when she hugs me and I don't want to run into a situation to where I've put it on and she doesn't realize I put it on and it's not dried and absorbed and she's going to rub her face on my shoulder. And then I'll be transitioning too. <laughs> That's the running joke. Um, plus, I'm also very, very lazy, and I'm very busy with, like, I have a ton of stuff going on. I work full-time. I'm working on school, and I started another school, so I'm going to school two different places, and I'm a mom, and I'm a, you know, spouse, and I got a ton of stuff going on, so um, that just wouldn't work for my, my, you know, everyday life, so therefore, you know... I think having to do something once a week is better for me. Y'all, hold on. Can I just make a disclaimer? If y'all don't know, we're in Atlanta and we're on the highway right now. So my face may like change like 30,000 times, but that's because I'm looking at the traffic in front of us. So I'm sorry. I, I don't want them to be like, why is she looking like that? Yeah. <laughs> People don't know how to drive in Atlanta. So how do you feel about um, today being shot day? I'm excited for you. You know what I will say? Um, I, I, this is kind of off topic, but kind of on topic. So I have, we have two very close neighbors that we're close with. Um, and we see them every day. We interact with them every day. We throw cookouts and fish fries and stuff together. Go eat dinner. Go eat dinner together. Our kids, look, they, look, one of them then became our sister. Basically, both of them then became our sisters. And we got nephews and stuff now and nieces. So we, you know, they're a very, you know, integ integral, close. close and a very integral part of our lives. So I decided to tell them. Um, because they do see me every day and as close as we are and the type of conversations we have and things like that, I didn't feel it was right for me to just start, you know, changing and then they'd be like, well, what the hell's going on? And I didn't tell them. Um, and surprisingly, <laughs> they've been super supportive to the point I told them, what, two weeks ago, a week ago, 
I told them two weeks ago when we went to dinner with our um, with one of them last night, and she remembered that today was going to be shot day for me. Yeah. So I say that to say, you know, I know it's hard to tell certain people, but you never know who's going to be in your corner. And I mean, it's a 50-50 chance you may get an asshole. You may, well, 33, 33, 33 for what I'm getting ready to say. You may get an asshole. You may get somebody who's super supportive. You may get somebody that's neutral, but just, you know, stand in who you are and at the end of the day, you got to live your life for you. You're going to get some people who don't understand it. Some people who are supportive. Like, I've gotten support from the most random sources lately. Like, the closer... In one mile. I was at a work convention and found out one of my co-workers' spouse, because they are um, gender non-binary, um, that they've been um, on testosterone for some time now. They've had top surgery. They gave me a bunch of people, you know, sources of things they went through to change their name and, and get funding for certain things. And it was just completely Watch out, vehicles. Conversation. So, you know, reach out. There is support out there. You know, there's other people out there. There's a lot of groups. Just make sure you have that support. So, we gonna come back once we get from the doctors to see if I turn into a little wuss. Because it's very possible that I'm going to be in there nervous and have a whole anxiety session. If we can, um, if if we we can, can record, record, we'll record. I'll record it for you. So, we'll be back.